Okay, everyone, we have uh, Coach Hopkins out here now with Corn Johnson and Keon Brooks Jr. Uh, Coach, you can give us an opening statement, and then we'll uh, go ahead and open it up to questions. Uh, first and foremost, um, um, you know, I take full responsibility uh, for this season. I felt like we had a chance to to really make some some steps. We had a lot of new guys, and I just couldn't get them to where we need them to be. It was a new team, um, had a lot of young talent uh, putting them together. I had a difficult deal. Really disappointed for our fans, our alumni, our ex-players, the community of C you know Seattle. Um, it's not our standard, and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a, I, you know, there's no one more disappointed than me because I know the group that we have, um, we underperformed. I'm excited about, you know, the, these kids, love these kids, you know, to lose like this. I'm just, I'm disappointed for them. And, uh, you know, got to tip our hat to Colorado. It was one of those games we're new. We've been working on this process. In the beginning of the game, we just, you know, we just, didn't have the energy needed to, to win. Uh, we fought back. I was proud of how they fought, showed our character. We just uh, we just couldn't get over the hump. Okay, if you have a question, go ahead and raise your hand. And again, uh, state your name and affiliation. We'll bring you we'll bring it over to Mike. Okay. Here in the second row. Coach, uh, Kim Reynolds from dogman.com. Coach Boyle out here before said he thought that the key and the difference in this game as opposed to the previous two games was the ability to get you guys to get into man. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we felt we were we were struggling on both. Uh, we played a lot of man in, in the second half um, and they shot 58%. Uh, but, uh, you know, for the most part, I thought we competed. We didn't rebound. That's been kind of the Achilles heel. They had 21 second chance points. If you look at it, we had more foul shots. We made more threes. They killed us in the paint and second chance points. There was just too many plays down the stretch where we couldn't retain the ball. And uh, something that we've been working on it and we've been hurt on it, we got to get better at it, and that's on me. We got to. We just got to do a better job in the rebounding. Other questions? Yeah, Coach, uh, slightly off topic, I don't know if you'd heard the, the news that uh, your longtime mentor, uh, Jim Beheim, announced his retirement. I didn't know if you had any thoughts on, on just the legacy that he left behind and what you learned from him. Or I, didn't know, I did not know that. That's a shock. Um, arguably the greatest coach, second in most wins, and if the NCAA gave him the wins back, he might be close to number one. Uh, national champion was a part of that. Um, a guy who's been doing it, very few people can do it for a long time, but to be over 50 years at one university is pretty special. He's given his heart and soul to that school. Still surprised they don't have a statue made of him in the middle of campus. Uh, when you think of Syracuse <coughs> University, you think of Jim Beheim and you think of the Carrier Dome. And now both of those will be gone, which is very sad. Um, but one of the greats, one of the greats. Okay, second row. Key uh first half offensively, it just seemed like there was lids on both sides of the basket. The second half, somebody took it off. What was the difference between the first half and the second half offensively? Uh, in the second half, we started to move. Um, the ball was stagnant too much in the first half. It stuck. In the second uh, second half, we, we got ball movement, player movement. It gave us gaps to get in the lane. And then uh, some guys stepped up and made some, made some shots. <laughs> Wish we would do that more in the first half. Did a better job of move, moving them around so they couldn't load up and uh, be so packed in with their pack line defense. But uh, yeah, that's how that went down. Yeah, I'll, I'll say the same thing as KB. Um, first half we was very stagnant, standing around and just watching watching each other, just try to attack <laughs> and going one on one. And then the second half we kind of pushed it in transition a lot, and um, we opened up gaps by uh, by running our our low high motion. We're like dribble and then cut and then get wide open layup so also Keon um, coach Boyle um, when he was out here earlier he said you would you have 26 in the last game against them and it sounds like you would focus on defense and specifically early in the first half did you notice they were doing something different on you tonight than they had the previous two games um 
I mean, I knew I was going to be the point of focus. I mean, just being honest, that's, that's every game for me. I know I'm going to get bodies thrown at me, held, grabbed, double, whatever, whatever the, they need to do to, to try to make me less effective in the game offensively. Um, there was nothing new to me. I should have done a better job in the first half of getting my spots, um, hitting my open teammates. So that, that, that's completely on me. Um, coming into the game, like I said, every game I know I'm going to get everybody's best shot because of what I did throughout the season. So it was whatever they did, to your hat off to me. You can say they did a good job, but I put that on myself. Any other questions? Here's a second. Hey, Rocco Miller, Bracketeer.org. Uh, good to see you guys. Uh, for, uh, two questions real quick. Uh, for Keon, uh, have you made any decisions about your future next season? <coughs> and then uh, for Coach, um, you know, where do you see kind of the state of the program as this season wraps up heading into next year and maybe your immediate plans from here? Um, I know that's a question that everybody's kind of have a, been wondering about and, and had their mind on, but it would be unfair to the staff and my teammates for me to, if I had made my mind up, it would, I would have to make it up before the game. Like, that's not fair to them. Um, I don't know what's next for me, per se. I just want to, first of all, thank all of them for bringing me in and giving me an opportunity to showcase what I can really do. Um, and moving forward, I'm going to have to have a conversation with Coach, the rest of the staff, my teammates, and my family. And, um, to see what's best for me moving forward. But as of right now, I just kind of want to let this, this sink in and, and be appreciative for everything that they've done for me in my one year here so far. And for me, it's not where we need to be. It's not our standard. Our standard is to be upper echelon, having a chance to play postseason NCAA tournament. That's what it is, and that's on me. We've got to change some things, um, especially offensively. Um, there's certain areas. The one thing that's exciting is um, the group of guys that we can return. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Keon hasn't made a decision. A lot of guys haven't made decisions. And obviously, with NIL and the transfer port on all these things, it's still so fresh. Um, but, you know, we, we can, the only player that can actually has to leave is Jamal Bay. Uh, we had a player on all defense. We had an all rookie and we had an all league player, uh, which is really, really exciting. Uh, we've got a great player coming in, Wesley Yates. Um, but this this program deserves championships playing for them, and uh, I haven't gotten it there. Uh, but I'm excited for the free, for the future. Some changes are going to be made. I take full accountability for it, and I'm excited. And uh, you know, trust me, there's no one more disappointed in this than me. Just a quick follow up question. I know that you had uh, Cole Badgema honored on Senior Night. Is his future? Just decided, or is he might come back still? They can all. The only player that has to leave based on eligibility is Jamal Bay. Okay, appreciate that. Thank you. Time for one more. Any more questions? In the back, coach. It's, it was uh, tied um, with like a minute twenty-five left. Just the, the the difference in that final, you know, sort of minute twenty-five that allotted to go to them and to not to you guys. You know, there was one play um, where, you know, uh, there was a scramble. I'm thinking that possibly it was an offensive rebound. They swung it, swung it, swung it, and uh, they made a three. It was to take the three-point uh, uh, three shot. That was, that was big, and then we came back. I think we turned it over. Um, actually, we did. We, had, we, we called a timeout. We ran a play. We turned it over on the baseline to get it to call for a three. Um, sometimes that happens, uh, but when these games come down to it, we had a foul line violation, uh, a couple missed rebounds where we had it that they ended up scoring. It just felt like it was one of those games where we just couldn't get over the hump. I mean, we got over it on one, but it was a play here or a play there. And when you're playing in tournament play, uh, having a chance to advance, that's what it comes down to. And we didn't make enough of them. <coughs> okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.